एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग ब्रिज आई होप यू गैज आर डूइंग गुड एंड स्टेइंग सेफ सो आई एम बैक विद अनदर अमेजिंग वीडियो फॉर ऑल दी डेटा इंजीनियर्स आउट देयर एंड एज प्रोमिस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शेयरिंग माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद एक्सपीडिया फॉर डेटा इंजीनियर थ्री रोल बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एनी थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर वन इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट अबाउट माई इंटरव्यू एट एक्सपीडिया सो वेन एक्सपीडिया रिक्रूटर रीज आउट टू मी एंड शेयर दी जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन इन दी जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन इट वॉज मैंशन दैट फॉर डेटा इंजीनियर थ्री रोल दे नीड मोर देन सिक्स प्लस ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एंड बाय दैट time when i was making my switch from amazon to different company i was having just 5 years of experience and why i actually talked about this point because please don't underestimate yourself always trust your skill sets and whatever you have done in your past whatever learnings you had previously whatever kind of projects you have built because nowadays companies are focusing more on the skill sets of a candidate rather than experience so if you see any time any job opportunity and you see that your experience is little bit close to it right let's say the job requires 5 years of experience and you are having 3.5 or 4 years of experience don't hesitate to apply for that job because companies will definitely shortlist your profile if your skill sets are matching with their requirements and you have done amazing work in the past and that is why i'm pretty sure that my interview experience at expedia will be really helpful for all the aspiring data engineers even the entry level data engineers or mid level senior kind of data engineers if you are having experience between 2 to 4 years right this is going to be really helpful for you so make sure you are watching this interview experience till the very end you will get the complete idea that how product based companies are interviewing for the senior data engineer role in the recent time and it will help you in your preparation as well and i would also request you to help other aspiring data engineers as well by liking this video in really really big numbers i am expecting at least 2000 likes you can definitely complete it because when you will do that youtube will itself recommend this video to all aspiring data engineers and they will also learn something from this video and also if you appeared for the data engineer interview in recent time for any of the good product based companies make sure to share your interview experience in the comment section and let us know in the comment section that what were the top 3 things which companies were asking for the data engineering interview views it would be really really helpful and if you are watching any of my video for the very first time and you are an aspiring data professional make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and thanks to cryo.do for sponsoring this video cryo.do is a kind of platform which actually believes in learning by doing so if you are someone who want to crack some really really good amazing product based companies but you feel that you are lacking in real world project experience and lacking in most demanding tech stack in the field of back end developer full stack developer front end developer then this should be the go to platform for you their extensive real world based projects programs are really really amazing i have shared one exclusive link in the video description i use that one you will get some exclusive offers and as soon as you will click on that link you will be landed on this home page here on this home page you can find the detail for every single thing and also free trial is available for all type of courses for the full stack development back end development all the details are mentioned here assured scholarship will be there six month duration these will be the latest tech stacks you will be working 15 plus hands on projects with micro skilling exercises same with the back end development program fellowship program in software development ninth month duration assured scholarship and guaranteed placement these will be the things you will be learning and you can explore the entire curriculum and more things from here and this is a newly introduced program master program in qa automation so this program is definitely good one from the skills and, and again placement guaranteed here and even the hiring partners you can look at here like unicorn startups mncs which are hiring via cryo.do platforms and you can use the link which is in the description you will get extra benefits like like the 10% extra discount plus additional scholarship and this free guide for interview preparation free guide for the resume preparation and free guide for the mini project so these things will be completely free for you if you will use the link in the description so first let me talk about how did i get this opportunity with expedia for data engineer 3 role so one of the expedia recruiters reached out to me on linkedin for this job opportunity and shared the job description and when i looked at the job description for the data engineer 3 role at expedia it looked very interesting to me because this was the kind of job role which i was looking for in my next move in the job description carefully i read about the team the kind of work they are doing and what is the expectation from the data engineer and most important the tech stack they are using all the popular and latest tech stack good balance of open source tech stack plus the cloud like the aws and in terms of the open source flink spark docker kubernetes jenkins kafka and many other cool stuffs and without even giving the second thought i told my recruiter that yes i am interested for this role and i am ready for the interview so that's how i get this interview opportunity and again linkedin helped me for this and honestly speaking linkedin is just amazing for the job hunting if you have an amazing job profile as well i do remember i was reached out by all top top companies 
companies like Google, Microsoft, Apple, Uber and many others and it wouldn't have been possible without LinkedIn or the kind of profile I had. So this is one humble request from my side for all the data professionals. If you are not using LinkedIn in the right way or you haven't started using it, you haven't updated your profile, you haven't created your profile, please start doing that because LinkedIn is just amazing for the job hunting and if you feel that you need the guidance, please let me know in the comment section. I can create a dedicated video where I'll be reviewing my LinkedIn profile like what all things you need to update in your linkedin profile how to create it and whatever hacks i know about the linkedin i will definitely share it with you if you want that kind of session let me know in the comment section as well so in total there were four interview rounds and each round was about 45 minutes so i will start with the first one which was more about the designing round like the data pipeline design so in this round interviewer started with my past project like what kind of projects i did in my past companies what were the challenges and what was the most challenging project what was my learnings how did i even solve it what were the data scale like the complete understanding of whole project their challenges tech stack and what we were trying to build so that was the first part of the discussion and in the second that was the most important one and I was drilled down for the real-time data streaming related concepts. And the most important part in the real-time data streaming that was the Apache Kafka. So interviewer asked so many questions related to Kafka, its technical understanding, everything. So the important concepts were like the offset management, the commit synchronous, asynchronous, importance of consumer groups in Kafka, partition assignment and reassignment of partition in case of addition and removal of any existing consumer from consumer group. So these were the some really amazing concepts and also the scalability part and again there were some really good questions related to docker how to work with it and how to use the docker in order to scale the real-time data streaming pipelines the microservice kind of architectures and many other good questions related to the deployment ci cd tools so this interview round was definitely very amazing i love the question i love the entire discussion and also i would like to share a few tips that how can you crack these data pipeline design related interview rounds so the most important thing in these rounds is definitely your past experience whatever you implemented and whatever kind of work you did in your past you can use those learnings here in the design rounds the beauty is that there is no fixed answer for any kind of design right so whatever you know whatever technical understanding you have just observe the problem ask as many as questions to the interviewer related to the design and if you want to assume something just tell it to the interviewer and based on your understanding in bits and pieces, try to implement that design. Just assume that if you are working as a developer or a data engineer and you are getting this kind of problem for the very first time and you know some of the tech stack, let's say Kafka, RabbitMQ, Spark Streaming, Flink or anything, then how will you design it? Even interviewer won't be expecting any kind of exact design, but they would love to hear your opinions, thoughts and how you are approaching to the problem, how you are breaking it down, whether you are considering all the edge cases corner cases scalability related things so whatever best you can think of based on your experience and knowledge just try to implement it so one thing i definitely observed in my recent interviews for the data engineer role in all top product based companies that in the design rounds they are heavily focusing on the real-time data streaming related pipelines they are not asking much questions related to the batch data pipeline so make sure you are focusing more on the real-time data pipeline design and it would be really great to hear from you as well in the comments section if you appeared in the data engineering interviews in the recent time i'm not talking about the past but the recent time like let us know in the comments whether they ask questions related to the batch pipelining or the real-time data pipelines now let's talk about the second interview round and that was pure programming or you can say the dsa related interview round and again i would repeat my words that yes for the data engineers understanding of programming and data structures algorithm is definitely very important and you can see the example i'm in front of you expedia ask me these type of questions as well although i was in the mid senior level kind of experience so make sure you are practicing dsa related things as well and if you find it difficult you can watch my previous videos where i talked about the important topics to cover in python and also the important topics for the dsa related rounds for the data engineer roles so watch those videos it will be really helpful for you now in this interview round interviewer asked me two coding questions and both were i would say on the medium level not very hard level of coding question so the first coding question it was related to the calculating the power of a given number right the statement looks easy 
and the first approach was definitely very easy but the interviewer asked me to optimize it and there is a solution which is in the log n complexity so i use that concept and solve that question now talking about the second coding question and that was a classical stack related problem like you will be given a infix postfix or prefix kind of notation and you need to calculate the result of that expression and definitely it took some time for me to solve this question because i had to play around with some conditions but i was able to solve this question so these were the two questions in this round and again the tip will be to think out loud whatever approach you have make sure you are just sharing it with the interviewer whatever logic you are implementing don't wait for the time like when you will complete the question then you will discuss it with the interviewer because this is the best strategy if you are explaining your approach so whether you are on a wrong track interviewer can help you with some hints like you should also be able to capture those hints so that would be the best tip from my side to crack dsa related rounds for the data engineer role and again you can let me know in the comment section if you were asked any dsa related questions in your interviews for the data engineer role if yes then what were those kind of questions it will be again really helpful for the audience and now let's talk about the third interview round which was again a technical discussion but different from the past two and in this interview round the interviewer majorly focused on the understanding of big data related things the interviewer typically focused on three things first was the spark the understanding of the spark framework second again few questions related to kafka and third the sql part so for the apache spark there were few standard questions and there were few good discussions around the out of memory error related to the driver and executors and the data skewness related challenges how we will be solving it like some optimized joins in spark how we can even optimize a given spark application which is taking a longer time to get finished and also key sorting related techniques so this was about the spark framework and for the kafka again pretty similar questions like in the first round offset management related things consumer groups and the third thing in the sql i don't remember the exact sql questions but i remember those were related to the joins and group by together so that that was about the sql and in the 45 minute of window these were the questions the interviewer asked me in the round 3 and now i will talk about the last and very very important round yes the hiring manager round so again this round was also about 45 minute long and this was completely behavioral round right there was no technical discussion here the hiring manager was definitely wanted to know about my past experiences what kind of work i did in my past projects and in my past companies what kind of challenges i faced there he also asked some realistic behavioral question like how you will be working in a team in a project meeting with the deadlines and he also focused on my previous organization like every company which i worked for what were my learnings what kind of challenging projects i worked on there and what kind of impact i created in those projects what were my roles and responsibilities what were the prime reasons to move from those companies and also if you guys remember and you know about me like i worked for mckinsey as well for a 4 5 months period of time so he was asking some pretty good questions like what were the purpose what you were trying to do what were you were experimenting everything like i had to justify everything why i move from this company to that company and what were the prime reason so please be ready for these kind of questions be prepared like whatever you have done in your past just revise your past completely everything so it would be really spontaneous and you have to be really prepared for that and one really important suggestion for each and every one and that is this round is really really important for you as well because you are directly interacting with the hiring manager so utilize this chance ask as many as questions you want like whatever you want to know about the organization about the team or the kind of product they are trying to build what kind of the role and responsibility you will be getting what kind of tech stack they will be using what is the future everything growth opportunities promotion cycles whatever kind of question you have just put it in front of the hiring manager because if you don't clarify your doubts in this round and you feel hesitant then you won't be able to make the decision that whether you should join this company or not so that's what i had for you guys in this video i'm pretty sure my experience for the data engineer 3 role at expedia will be really really helpful for all the aspiring data engineers and even the mid senior level data engineers if yes and you find this interview experience really informative really amazing make sure to like this video in really really big numbers so that this video can reach to all aspiring data engineers and also if you are watching any of my video for the very first time hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon for all amazing videos related to data engineering and make sure to share your thoughts opinions about your recent data engineering interviews in the comment section i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video till then just stay safe stay home take care yourself and your family too